Hey, welcome there. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to grab the function g of x equals 2 times cosine of pi x plus 1. And what I did is I wrote kind of the standard form of the function that you might see in a textbook and see how is that going to help us graph this function here. Well, one important thing is we notice that I'm adding the 1 after the function. Well, the 1 is going to be similar to what my d is. And remember, if you look at d, if you look at transformations of a function, d is going to be shifting my graph up or down on the y-axis where 2 is going to be my a and pi is going to be my b. c in this case is 0 as I'm not adding or subtracting inside of my function. So by using this information, now what I'm going to do is figure out the important parts of a trigonometric graph. The first part is the amplitude. So in terms of the amplitude, that's going to be the absolute value of a which in this case is going to be 2. So the absolute value of 2 is 2. And the absolute value, or the amplitude, remember, is going to be the maximum height from, or I'm sorry, half the distance from the maximum height to your minimum height of your graph. Then I'm going to look at the period, the amount of distance that it's going to take for your graph to complete one complete cycle. So our period is going to be represented as 2 pi divided by b, where in this case we have pi. So what I'm going to take is, Oh, I'm sorry, b is my pi, so I'm going to take 2 pi divided by pi, which leaves me with a period of 2. Now, the next thing we want to do is a lot of times when we talked about our critical points. And our critical points, if you can remember, were um, between like our maximum, our minimum, our x um, intercepts. So what I'm going to do is every single one of those critical points was even distances away from each other. So what I'm going to do next is create what we call our x scale. Sometimes I just write critical points, but you can write your x scale. And what that's going to be is how we're going to scale our graph. So the x scale, to scale your graph, since there's four important points, we're going to take our period and divide it by 4. So you take your scale, divide it by 4, and then the last thing we want to do is determine the start and the end of our graph. So the start and the end, the formal definition was to take your transformations inside your function and set them equal to 0. And then that's for the start. And then to set them equal to 2 pi for the end. And the reason why we do that is because the, the parent graph of cosine starts at 0 and ends at 2 pi. So here, my transformations are going to be pi x equals 0. And over here, I have pi x equals 2 pi. So by solving for x, I get x equals 0 and pi x, so, and then x equals 2. So that means my graph is now going to start at 0 and end at 2 for our first initial period. Remember, our cosine graphs are cyclical. They're going to keep on repeating on and on forever. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to create an x-axis, and I'm going to create my y-axis at 0, which is also going to be my starting position. Then remember, there's four critical points. Between those four points is um, 1 half. That means my first critical point is going to be at 1 half. The next critical point will be at 1, then at 3 halves, and then at 2. I can also do this in the negative direction since I'm starting at 0. All right. So now the next thing we need to look at is our amplitude. Remember, our amplitude is going to be that max distance. So that means I'm going to have to go up 2 and down 2. All right. So to remember that, remember the cosine graph. Always remember the cosine graph, our initial period of the cosine graph had an intercept of 0, 1. Well, now it would have an intercept of 0, 2. So what I'm going to do whenever I have a vertical translation, I always like to graph it as it would be without a vertical translation, and then simply just to take all those points and shift them how they need to be. So remember, our parent graph would have an amplitude of 1. Since now we have an amplitude of 2, I'm going to start my graph at 2, 0. The next critical point is going to go down to one is going to go to zero. Then I go to my minimum, back up to my intercept, and then back up to my max. So this graph with no vertical translation, the first initial period is going to look like this. However, you can see that plus one is going to shift my whole graph up another unit. So what I'm going to do is now transfer every point on my graph up a whole solid unit. And now I can just connect these points. Um, yep. Oh, I guess these need to be farther over, but yeah, yeah, it's something like that. All right, and then I can also continue this down in the negative direction. So 
So therefore, that point would be up one. This is going to go up one. This goes up one. This would go up one. And there you go. And these graphs are going to continue in the left and right direction. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph 2 cosine of pi x plus 1. Thanks.